Well, guys, tonight, the gun of the night is an 1892 Winchester carbine with the 20-inch barrel. It's a beautiful old gun, which was made in 1914. You can see the carbine style rear buttstock on it. And the ladder type sight, which is a flip up type sight. This rifle shoots the 44 Winchester center fire, so there's a pretty big opening in the end of that barrel. It's marked on the side 44 Winchester center fire. And you can see the saddle ring on the left side of the receiver. You can see the original patina on the receiver and where it's worn away from the saddle ring. This gun was made in 1914 and had an interesting life. One of which many of you may have never heard of. This gun is what you call a Dominion of Canada inspected gun, meaning it has Dominion of Canada stamped onto it in front of the Winchester proof marks. What this means is that this gun was purchased by the British in World War I to be used on British merchant ships against the Germans. In 1914, Canadian inspectors went down to the Winchester factory in New Haven, Connecticut and inspected these guns before they were shipped over to Britain. And the kind of Weird thing about it is they end up failing quite a few Winchesters at the New Haven plant. They weren't accepted. Um, different things wrong with them, loose stocks, uh, stiff actions. This one here has survived. And it's still a good shooter today in fine mechanical shape. It's kind of a, a real collectible gun, a little bit too nice to shoot, really, but most of the loads nowadays are pretty light and uh, like cowboy ammunition, you only get about 1,300 feet per second out of it. It's pretty, uh, pretty light ammo. I'm sure the rifle would hurt it, would handle it uh, with no problem. Thought you guys would like to see it. Let me know what you think of it.